Hi my friends. Let's create a new assembly. An old Romanian uh, proverb says uh, that uh, the repetition is the mother of learning. We have to do another assembly which is about uh, coupling coupling with the parallel axis. The parts are here and we start by creating them. The first one is the plate, next cross, bearing, different by uh, the high and the radius here, uh, crank, slider and axle. This is 8050. Let's create it. Let's go. New millimeters XY plane, a centered rectangle here, and I will in zoom out to have dimensions around. 50 tab 70 that's all extrude on 6 ok F6 and now we'll uh, present it in another fashion because in another position because we want to have a good illumination when this uh, when the assembly will be done. Uh, uh, this is the part uh, which is fixed in the assembly so we create here two rectangles to create channels one, two and we restrict this with the symmetry I'll project that axis I make it uh, constructive and symmetry when I click here you see uh, uh, what is needed first element second element axis and now because I use the same axis first and second not the axis as well now I'll make uh, aligned this basis and now we can introduce dimensions 14 here and 6 each one channel 6 with a depth of 3 3 good finish sketch extrude cut all the way what all the way this two rectangle and now a uh, fillet of 5 on the four corners of the part ok material is uh, steel the general aspect is gun metal and some faces must be selected to apply the aspect uh, uh, titanium polished on them titanium polished F6 now we have the real position when we work to a part when we work on an assembly the position is with the axis Z up. 
okay let's see the characteristics you see them here to compare with to compare with your product we save it as a plate this is the plate okay now we go to the uh, cross this is the cross and you see dimensions here a diameter of 64 and two arms of uh, uh, 12 and the other ones new part XY now it's not important where we place in rapport of the axis but to create the part finish sketch uh, the depth is uh, 10 extrude 10 ok now a new sketch here with two lines one horizontal and one vertical which must be equal this is equal with this you will see during this presentation my presentation that I use uh, a minimum uh, a number of commands and uh, I suggest you to use the same uh, uh, procedure to be professional. Here I put 12 divided by 2. I don't uh, uh, calculate by my head. And you see, that's okay. Now extrude this, cut all the way. Okay circular the last feature around this axis with four cutouts here now I make here another sketch very simple one line restart two line now uh, be very careful I trim in a special fashion look here I keep pressed the left button of mouse and I cut all in a single movement I make them equal not symmetry, not other things, not dimensions, and they are equal. They are symmetrical, and the dimension here is this 8. Finish. Let's see what is the depth. The depth is 8. So extrude this cut eight. Okay. Now another nice thing is to apply a circular uh, pattern of this last channel around the general axis of two instances on 90 degrees not on 360 okay on the back we have to add an extrusion the dimensions are here diameter of 
10 and uh, uh, length 16. Diameter of 10 and extrusion of what? Of the circle is 16. Okay. I apply a chamfer here of 0 0.5, which is the general chamfer at all parts. You see here, all chamfers are. 0 0.5 at uh, 45 degrees and uh, we apply here a, a hole of 2 millimeters at the 5 millimeters a procedure we uh, found out in another tutorial former a former one previous tutorial minus 5 an axis at the intersection of this plane with the XY not XY this plane and the axis appear here and a point on the intersection of the axis with this face here is the point now the hole I need to show the point to show the axis here point direction and the diameter of 2 is already choose and now I'll uh, make invisible all these three uh, work elements the work point control pressed the plane work axis the plane not visible uh, one was uh, also not visible F6 to see the part is finished and now the material still the default aspect general aspect and some uh, machined faces with aspect of uh, titanium polished all these faces titanium polished save the part but before let's see which are the properties you see them here save as a cross Safe. Now we continue with the uh, bearing. First is uh, high, bearing high with 66 instead of 54. Making this contour. Let's do it. New standard millimeters XY now a construction here in the air the procedure is known from other tutorials I don't insist on it equal this with this the same vertical between this point and the middle of the base and this is not enough because you can see 
I can do this. The tangent here is missing. Let's put the tangent and uh, again you see what happens. This is okay. We apply coincidence between this point and the origin and now dimensions. 45, 66, 10 and radius of 10 10, 10 66 on uh, 45 66 home 45 here 10 here and 10 also here good now we apply extrude of 6 and uh, we'll create this uh, uh, pocket here on 6 ok and here we create a pocket by using offset of 3 but with another radius here I'll eliminate this to put radius of 12 So, fillet 12 between this and this. The problem is that uh, we have to uh, add the dimension here because it was broken. The offset was broken. Now it's fully constrained as you can see here finished sketch we apply extrude on uh, 4 millimeters you see here extrude this cut 4 millimeters ok and now a hole of 10 centered on the exterior and we have to apply some uh, R4 fillets hole on this face centered here of 10 millimeters diameter ok and here fill it a 4 as well as here and the other two F6 steel gun metal and this face as well as this one and this one are to be another aspect titanium polished the part has its properties as you can see here and the name is bearing high save good 
now we open uh, bearing high oh I see here this was not changed to uh, titanium polished now it is I save it as is and I also save it as uh, bearing short because we uh, have the uh, fashion and we change dimensions what changes we have here 66 becomes 54 radius 6 fist the diameter of 6 radius 10 diameter of 10 and we'll see during the uh, work so here is 54 okay here is 6 the hole is uh, 6 instead of 10 okay and the radius radius is 8 instead of 12 radius from here this is 8 finish okay uh, the name is very short so we save it under this name let's go on further now we have to create the crank with a, a slot of 24 with R4 at the exterior centered in the origin here we this is what we start how we start let's do it new millimeters sketch uh, slot center slot not other but horizontal and this dimensions this is 24 and the radius is 4 okay finish sketch extrusion of uh, 4 millimeters and another extrusion uh, of the diameter 6 and uh, all uh, length is 20 6 with 20 but now the uh, thickness of 4 extrude on 4 ok here a circle of 6 another extrusion of uh, 20 minus 4 20 minus 4 millimeters ok the same uh, uh, chamfer of 0.5 here and there are two holes of 4 millimeters centered on the ends we open this, we close this, another known procedure, hole here and here with the diameter of 4. Okay, that's all. No, this is not all because we have to add this hole of two millimeters 
on uh, uh, at a dimension of uh, 5 noun procedure minus 5 ok axis at the intersection of this with the plane intersection with this plane now you see the axis a point at the intersection of axis with this surface and now the whole point we have to point in position and to uh, uh, select direction diameter of two millimeters two okay now we hide this this and this visibility that's the part yes the material is uh, steel the general aspect is gun metal and this 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 and also this are titanium polished titanium polished this is the part now let's see what are its data everything is here okay save as crank good the next uh, is uh, the slider once again a slot 16 with R4 just like here the uh, uh, thickness is 8 16 4 8 let's do it the procedure is similar I don't speak at all you look and see what I do I'm in a hurry yes because I don't want to uh, spend a lot extrude eight okay now uh, I apply zero point five here and also on the other side okay now I have to create a hole or six four with a depth of two we open a sketch we close the hole is here the kind is counter bore with six two is already selected and four the material is uh, steel coarse the general aspect is gun metal uh, and some faces all around but also this one are with the aspect titanium polished this is the part and let's see what are its data
new system here okay save it as slider slider okay the next part is and the last one is the axle diameters of 6 and 4 length of 12 and a head of 2 6 4 12 2 you remember new millimeters xy plane some lines 1 2 so on and close all I center it here I change this in center line 6 4 total 12 and the head of 2 finish revolve the part is done and now a small chamfer of 0.5 here and here ok material steel gun metal for general aspect and this must be another aspect titanium polished this is the part let's see what are uh, its uh, data the data are here save as uh, Excel save okay now we have all the parts to create this assembly next tutorial will uh, deal with this how to assemble this and some other bonus because you are very good and working people, I hope. Bye-bye.